What a difference a day makes. So yesterday I was over at uh, Silver Mountain and it was a windstorm, winter violent windstorm with uh, blowing snow, uh, snow blown off the run, snow and blown on the run. But overall, some of the lightest powder of the entire year. Uh, today I'm over here at Lookout, totally different day, sunshine, low wind. But what I'm gonna try to do is uh, film a little bit of riding in the uh, leftover snow which is still under spring conditions, but it's all cut up. So I hope that you guys enjoy this. I don't often get a chance to film myself uh, riding the cut up, but that's what we're gonna do next, and uh, hope you enjoy. next clip in here to basically emphasize the action of the ankles, knees, and hips, uh, which I will have a follow-on with that same type of action from an 11-year-old rider that I was lucky enough to work with uh, over at Silver Mountain on the following day. So guys, it is all about the lower body. That's what makes the board work. You know, try to slow things down and let that lower body closest to the board give you some of the best rides you could possibly get. This clip was taken at Silver Mountain. This is Vanessa. She's 11 years old from Oxnard, California. This was her first day ever snowboarding. She's uh, brought with her many, many talents from being a gymnast, quite aware of her body, walks on the balance beam and all that. Imagine you trying to walk on a four-inch beam. So she knows exactly what her balance points are and how to use her legs and articulate her body to function. So I put this at the end of this clip because I want you to pay attention to her knees, the nice flex in her ankles. Her overall body position is one of just brilliant use of her body. And as I've said before, um, the lower body controls the snowboarder and basically runs through the pattern. This was a follow-on from the clip where I showed you myself in the uncut snow or the cut-up snow and stuff and how the board was mounting and moving but you should have noticed that my ankles and knees were picking up most of the work as well as my hips, the upper body is quiet. This was this girl's very first day on a snowboard. She's probably the best student in my 27 years of teaching that I've had such a good fortune to be out with. Um, it just absolutely was amazing. Uh, I was overjoyed, she'll be my replacement in life. Uh, you guys will probably see her in the Olympics. She's just quite a doer. Uh, and, and it was absolutely amazing. It's so rewarding to me to see a child as young as that on day one just do so well. Um, there was also another class out there at this time. Vanessa went down and, and performed the basic skills on run one. Again, though, I talked to her about the skills she brought from gymnastics, not about how the book tells you to snowboard. So enjoy this. We are a channel that does get results. Um, I'm not that lucky to get a brilliant student like that all the time, but uh, I hope that I run into her again and we, we get to shred together. A great, great day with an unbelievably talented young lady. So I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to it. Hit the notification button so you can be notified. We're wrapping up the season. We've got about two days left, which equates to about uh, five hours riding time because of the spring conditions. But we're still out there. After that, we'll probably go down to uh, one every two weeks and kind of keep you informed what we're doing for the summer to get ready for next winter. All right, we're out.